developing story now, and this one is a medical mystery and is out of Leroy, New York. At least 15 high school students are suffering from an illness that causes them to have uncontrollable twitching and verbal outbursts. So now environmentalist, famous environmentalist and activist Erin Brockovich is getting involved. Remember her from the movie? Julia Roberts played her. Brockovich says that a 1971 train derailment caused a dangerous chemical spill just three miles from the future site of that high school. She's conducting her own investigation now and believes that the bedrock and the groundwater could be contaminated. Seeing an affiliate, WROC reporter Caroline Tucker is in Leroy and spent the day with Brockovich's team. I'm going to talk to her in just a second, but I want to tell you, you want to stand by because our very own Dr. Drew Pinsky is doing amazing work on this story on HLN, and we'll talk to him in just a moment. So first to Caroline. What did they find, Caroline? Well, Don, really, they haven't found anything just yet. Really, today was all about trying to survey the scene. They went to the school site um, trying to get samples from there. The school district does not want to cooperate, um, says it does not want um, rogue testing done on its school grounds, thought they were trespassing. But they did do other testing in the area. They went to the, where that derailment site was, um, where 35,000 gallons of industrial solvent did spill back in the 1970s. They went there, took some ground and water samples. They also went to some homeowners' homes throughout the area near that site, uh, took some samples from the wells that are there, some of them which reached 70 to 35 feet into the ground took water samples there, and they do plan on taking that, sending it away, and getting some results out of this. So you said there was between 35 and, and 45,000 gallons of this stuff. That was a long time. And according to uh, what I'm reading, and I'll talk to Dr. Drew a little bit about this too uh, in just a second, but Caroline, from, from what I am reading and what we are told, this is not our, this is not our investigating here. This is according to uh, Aaron Brockovich, that the spill happened in the 1970s. And then anyone with any authority when it comes to these chemicals didn't actually get to the scene until the 1990s? Yeah, that is correct. I mean, there was an EPA report that came out just kind of saying what solvents went into the ground. They do know a lot of that was absorbed into the ground. A lot of it, those wells near where the site was, were turned off. However, what Bob Bocock, the environmental investigator working with Aaron Brockovich, what he says is that a lot of those wells end up getting turned off, and that groundwater, though, moves into other parts in the ground. It has to go somewhere, and that's why there's some concern whether or not other wells may have been infected and whether or not some of that could be flowing um, mm. the way uh, – the water flows and drains down into where the school ground is. All right, WROC reporter Caroline Tucker, can you just please stand by for us because I want to bring in our Dr. Drew Pinsky now. He joins me now uh, on the phone. Dr. Drew, I know you spoke with Aaron Brockovich last night on your show. It was an amazing interview. You have spoken. You had the two students on as well in the story in your show. But you have some new information for us now. What do you have? Yeah, I've got quite a bit of information. This story has gotten terribly elaborate. I actually spoke directly to the Bob that... Uh, the affiliate was speaking about there. First, let me just say it's a it's a rather complicated story. Aaron takes it through its step, take us through a step by step. We're going to re-interview that. We're going to re-air that interview again Sunday night at nine Eastern. It's also available in almost in total at HLNTV.com. I would love it if CNN.com would put it up as well. Uh, unfortunately, it's not there right now. Hey, but Dr. Drew, can I can that. I stop you right there? Yes. If you want to, let's listen to, because we have the interview from your show, part of it, and then you can take us through the new information, because you okay, said Aaron Brockovich walks us through it, right? Yes. Okay, let's listen, and then we'll get back to you. One of the family members, somebody put a note in their mailbox, and it was about a 1971 derailment and the contaminated rock and fill and soil was used to build a new school. So, so hold, slow down now. So slow down. You, you found out. This is something you then were able to corroborate? We are still trying to corroborate that. So what I did so that's immediately that's, that's, to that's, research okay. it, I, I went online, and lo and behold, in 1971, there was a very serious train derailment that caused one ton of cyanide to spill and 45,000 gallons of TCE. Okay, TCE is trichloroethylene. Is that the same thing that was in your story that became no, a movie? No, Hinkley was hexavalent chromium. Yeah. Trichloroethylene is a well-known carcinogen. Yes. Can it also cause these sorts of neurological problems? I have read and been involved in cases that we have that TCE can be associated with neurological okay, disorders. So so one of the, the young lady you saw there in the video next to Erin Brockovich, she is one of the students who uh, says she is right. suffering from this, and you, and you see the twitches there, and you also had two of the students on. We'll listen to them. We'll see their interview in just a second. First, Dr. Drew, on with your information. 
So the, the plume from that original uh, spill would, in the bedrock, would be just about reaching that school that is in question right about now. So Bob, who Carolyn had mentioned, went to the school. He was stonewalled. So, something he said, that he's working with Aaron Brockovich on the environmental disasters for years. He said this has never happened to them. The school superintendent gave them a note with a statement on it that saying that the school has hired its own environmental hygiene and safety services company to review the environmental testing that had previously been done. They would not allow him to do the testing, but he went to the site, as Carolyn said, of the original spill, and he said he has never seen, in all of his career, he has never seen anything like this. The spill itself is, he was supposed to be remediated as a remediation site, and it's almost as though the site itself is becoming a source of further contamination. Mm. So it's a double whammy. This is really serious stuff, and we'll be showing the footage of that site on Monday night. Okay, Dr. Drew, stand by. The two young ladies, two of the young ladies who exhibit, who say they're exhibiting the symptoms from this, they spoke to CNN. Let's listen. I was in school for a little while after it started, but I ended up leaving the last week of October because <clears throat> I didn't feel I could handle school anymore. It's hard being, it's hard not being able to do what you love. Even going to school, I love going to school, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's hard that, I think it's even harder knowing that I don't know what's going on. Like, I'd like to be able to yeah. answer people if they ask me what's happening. And they, asked, they said they spoke to CNN. They spoke directly with Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew, what do you make of this when, after hearing them? Well, they have got a very fine neurological team taking care of them, but it had been dismissed or concluded to be a, a mass hysteria or mass conversion reaction. And for me, it just didn't pass that sniff test. There seemed to be some of these girls who really had a biological problem. There are doctors up there right now testing for possible infectious, post-infectious causes of something like this. But this environmental disaster that is ongoing there, I think, is going to bear fruit. In fact, Bob also told me he's trying to look at areas of the community where middle schoolers and high schoolers might congregate. And apparently there's a limestone quarry in the direct line of this contaminated material that has been leaching it uh, that they may, the kids may be swimming in. So that's his biggest oh, wow. lead right now. He's going right away to check that out. Hey, Dr. Drew, did you say it's going to air on your show on Monday night or on Sunday night? Sunday, we're going to re-air the Aaron Brockovich interview. On Monday, we will be showing you the confrontation with the school, the stonewalling, the, the, the footage from the school, and this unbelievable footage from the spill site. The spill site still with hundreds and hundreds of decaying drums mm -hmm. filled with toxic material within feet of people living environment yeah dr drew pinsky 9 p.m tomorrow night sunday night 9 p.m eastern monday night 9 p.m eastern as well on hln dr drew thank you so much and Thanks, also Don. thank you to caroline tucker our reporter on the scene as well we're going to move